welcome back to my channel so i wanted to i thought this would be a fun video to film a comparison a lot of cards there i like my reviews but i i also like comparison videos it's really helpful if you're gonna make like make a purchase and you want to see which one it is i know now with like this digital time where you can like see so many different options it can be kind of like overwhelming because you're like which one do i get so i wanted to talk about beach waver so there's lots in the market high-end some cheap ones and so i'm going to compare the the classic revlon one i've had this one for probably like 11 years you can i think i got this at target like back in the day but it's i'd say like a lower price end type and i just purchased this new one and this is the Bo bondi boost i'm not even really if it's bondi bondi boost 32 millimeters so i think it doesn't even say on the website. I, I'm going to read over some things. I think I'm going to say this is a 25 millimeter and this is a 32 millimeter. These are different for sure. And and yeah, so I want to be comparing. You can obviously tell the difference when it's thicker, but I wanted to compare these. I had, like I said, this one was really old. And so I wanted, I was like, you know what? I want to get a new one. And so I got this one. <laughs> and it was like, I got it. It was like a sale where you get 30% off. So, just some facts about this one. I'm going to list it down below. This one is, like I said, Revlon. So according to the website, it says it goes to 420 degrees. So it's, let me open this up. It has this, um, it just goes from one to 30 and just kind of turn it. And so, but supposedly the 30 is the 420 degrees and it's like, you know, this style and you would just hold down to hold your hair and it has like a swivel cord this one is a tourmaline ceramic coating so the reason why i bought a new one is I, this one still works i've had it for so long it works perfectly however it's every time i use it on my hair i just felt like it was giving my hair this like kind of smell like a crispy burnt smell and i just was like maybe is this old is there something wrong with this one uh it's still in pretty good condition i I take good care of my thing so that's why i was like you know what i've had this one for so long let me get a new one why i also wanted this one is because i i personally love like bigger waves like my go-to hair curling one is a 32 millimeter and i wanted to also see the difference i was always like so indecisive do i get like because the bond i boost they have one for a 25 millimeter and a lot of other brands so like a 25 and a 32 it's australian made so when you turn when i turned it on and it didn't go up to like the 420 or like that type of big number i was like confused because i was like oh my gosh it doesn't even go high because it's a celsius australia made so that was something i didn't really pay attention to the beginning but when you read the box um and you look on the website it it tells you adjustable temperature between 80 degrees celsius and 210 degrees celsius and they both have the 360 swivel cord the revlon has the same exact thing 18 month warranty i don't even know the warranty on the revlon but that's good to know made of high grade crystal powered tourmaline ceramic glaze i don't really know the difference in these different ceramics but that's it so ceram ceramic tourmaline tourmaline and this one is crystal powder tourmaline ceramic right <laughs> I'm like getting myself confused because i'm trying to look at different things but i'm going to put right here the info between the two different ones so you can read it but i'll also put it in the description down below so i'm going to do a comparison between the waves i'm going to do half my head with the bondi boots and half my head with the revlon to compare the waves when i first looked at after i used the 32 millimeter i was like does this look any different than my revlon one and my hair was sniss having like a little bit of a burnt smell um, but I do use heat protectant every time I apply a hot tool on my hair. The one that I've been using a long time, um, and I'm interested to try different ones. I don't really know the difference in between, but I this one, the Tresemme Heat Tamer, is the one I always use. And I actually love the smell, but I should probably look at the ingredients because could this be damaging my hair? I don't know. Here, I do like that this one's white, like the handle. I wish it would have been all white or like maybe the barrels would have been silver, not black, but that's just my personal preference. So I'm just going to put it on when it's on, this just lights up and I always just leave it at 30, but maybe let me, maybe that's why my hair has been so crispy. Maybe that's too strong. So maybe I'm going to, I'm going to go with 25. And when you turn it on, 
it'll just sit on the table like this. I don't like to just leave it on my surfaces because I don't know, this still gets pretty hot. So I'm just gonna put it on top of this little rag to protect my table. So I think I just do a couple spritz. I like to start from the back. So I'll just like probably split my hair in half and then just with this part, I'm just gonna put it up, get it out of the way so I can really do this and I'm gonna look a little crazy. So how I do this one is I don't start it right at my root, you could, but I don't know. So it's kind of like gonna be hidden anyways. I'm just gonna start it down there and then wherever you finish off, obviously you pick up. So I kind of do like pumps and then I just go down and then let me stand up a little bit. We got a little bit of the wave, you can see it. So let's do a couple more. I'm gonna try to like zoom forward through this, but this one can take some time. Like I feel like to be honest, the, the wand works better, like time-wise, like it's faster. Like this one you have to like go down and if you have like a lot of hair, like I have a pretty decent amount of hair and it's pretty thick and long. So this is, takes long, like longer. The curling wand, I go so fast. So yeah, if you're in a rush, maybe this isn't the best thing. Like do give yourself time to do your hair if you're gonna like do some beach waves. I'm gonna go through this and I'll be right back. I just finished this side and it looks it looks beautiful. I also like to brush through it because then like you leave it like this and it's like, oh, this looks too perfect. Let me brush it up, but I'm gonna do that at the end. So this is how the waves are looking. I'm just gonna get a little closer with the Revlon and you can see you can see how like look how beautiful that is and my hair I need to it's a little bit you know but yeah so it's all the way to the to the tips and it just looks really nice so now I'm gonna switch over this one I just plugged it in and then how you turn it on you just push it so I think 180 Celsius is, what is 180? What is 180 Celsius? Okay, so 180 Celsius is a little too much for me. I'm gonna bring it down. I usually like to go for like a 270, so let's, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do like 140 Celsius. And this one instead, it's different from the Revlon one because like the Revlon one, the, right, the bottom came out. This one, the bottom stays and these move. Is it like that much of a difference? I don't know. I guess because I just got so used to this one. And like this one has like the up and down and the power in the middle to change the heat setting. And it has this little clip so you like this, stand it like that and then you just place it somewhere. So I've already sprayed my hair and when I'm done, we're gonna compare the ways to see if there's even like that big of a difference. Did I play myself? It does, like my hair has this like burnt type of smell, which I don't like. And then like what I do to cover it is I will put like, you know, um, like spray some more on my hair prote heat protectant or maybe like some type of hair like cream. Oh, I see little mocha running out. She looks so cute, plain fetch. Um, but yeah, that's like my biggest issue. That's why I was like, that's really why I wanted to buy a new waiver because I wanted to try the bigger waves and to see if it would change the smell of my hair. So like I said, I split my hair. You can see like the portion that I'm grabbing and this one I'm still like kind of struggling to adjust to it because I'm like I got used to the other one so again I'm starting there I'm gonna just move my I'm, like put my hair like a scarf do you ever like do this like your shoulders like just kind of like shrink up so this one I can't really pump it because like the bar barrel is moving out. So I just like kind of just leave it there. I think I should have left it longer, but I definitely feel the heat. That was like the first attempt. You can see the wave. Um, let's let me grab a, like a little bit from this and see if we can see a big difference um can you tell I, I actually i do see a difference yeah you can tell this one's just like a little bit tighter and this one is a little loose i honestly think that they're both very pretty we're gonna examine at the end but 
they are both very nice and i i do see a difference i hope hopefully you guys can see it but let's <laughs> let's finish the rest of my hair so we can really take a look at this so i'm gonna speed through this and you just see the final look okay so i just finished my hair and actually now i kind of mix them together but i you can really actually see the difference obviously i just finished this one so it's like very wavy <laughs> i'm sure the camera speaks for itself you can tell the difference the waves i they're both very nice they're both very beautiful waves these are definitely tighter but i honestly just love these type of waves better so for me like at first i was like did i make the right choice by buying like another beach waver that's almost gonna do the same thing but after now officially is my first time seeing it i'm like you know what i do see a difference let me stand up a little bit i feel like you can tell like a slight difference obviously it's like all together so you really can't and you're like can't even see my you see my mouth now what i would do here i as you can see well my roots are grown out but you can see that like i'm starting it like a little bit lower when i like i'm not putting it all the way up here i'm like probably a little bit down here and so what i would do to make this not look so perfect i personally just love to like comb things out with my hands and so this one let me smell my hair i don't know i feel like there's still like a slight smell but it's not as strong and oh yeah after brushing it out you can definitely like really see it i am happy with my purchase i do like that i got this 32 millimeter one to help my hair like my little flyaways i would probably put like some type of product in here to just tame this and yeah i just think this is such a beautiful look i, I like i said both are beautiful which if you have like a 25 millimeter one or this 32 millimeter i think it's just a slight difference but i'm gonna go with this one i'm happy with my purchase yeah this is just a quick video i just wanted to do a comparison yeah these will last me actually several several days like i can these these stay in so you could put hairspray in you could put maybe some like little like shine spray some like kind of mousse or cream whatever you want my biggest concern was the smell like i said the revlon one for some reason i don't know if it's just my specific iron or tool hot tool or if that's all the other ones but i i always get this like like when i smell it like not on obviously i don't have to see a smell but like in the process when i'm doing my hair this this is like has like a crispy smell but this one, I really wasn't smelling it, but I, I feel like I do smell something. And when I use a regular like wand, I feel like I don't smell anything. So I don't know what it is. They both are some type of tourmaline. Anyway, so this is just like a quick comparison, kind of quick, between these two. I think either one. Yeah, I think it's just preference to see which one you like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this was helpful for somebody. Thank you. Bye.